Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear organizers and participants of the workshop. My name is Karen kaman klipstein and I'm the president of the Federal Maritime and Hydrographic Agency in Germany. I'm honored to have been invited to address the workshop participants in this closing ceremony. Let me first thank the workshop organizers and everyone who has been engaged in preparing these workshops. Germany has been committed to Argo since the inception of the program and has been the first country worldwide to provide sustained funding to Argo. My agency, the BSH, as the Central Maritime Agency in Germany, has been tasked since 2008 to manage Germany's contribution to the Argo program. We have been supported by the ocean science community in Germany, including leading research institutes. Argo has made outstanding contributions in the last two decades to the Global Ocean Observing Network, providing data on the physical state of the ocean and enabling outstanding science results. Argo has been truly transformational in how observational data are collected and acts as the role model for many other observing systems for its data management. The concerted effort of the global Argo community has made it possible for scientists to obtain a precise sea level budget and quantify the warming of the oceans due to climate change. At present, Argo is collecting 12,000 data profiles each month, which is 400 a day. This greatly exceeds the amount of data that can be collected from below the ocean surface by any other method. During the two decades between 1999 and 2019, Argo floats collected 2 million data profiles, which have been made available publicly and free of charge to the benefit of humanity. The high level launch of the United Nations Ocean Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development is celebrated today. This decade will provide a common framework to ensure that ocean science can fully support countries' actions to sustainably manage the oceans and more particularly to achieve the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. UN Secretary Antonio Guterres has expressed his expectation that the decade will provide impetus and a common framework for action. He urged governments and stakeholders to commit to the conservation and sustainability of the ocean throughout the world. In this spirit, BGC Argo will provide the first three-dimensional view of the oceanic ecosystem, functioning through direct measurements of essential ecosystem parameters. It will thus provide a transformational change for the collection of data on the ocean health and for the sustainable use of the ocean. The important funding provided by the US National Science Foundation will make it possible to deploy 500 biogeochemical Argo profiling floats throughout the world ocean. Completion of the planned BGC Argo system, however, will require establishing collaboration with international partners, including those beyond the G7 nations. Germany is ready to be part of this process and is working at ministerial level to outline our roadmap for the new One Argo multidisciplinary strategy over the next 10 years to provide long-term sustained funding for One Argo with its mix of core, deep and BGC floats. While core Argo is already uh, already has transformed our knowledge about the upper 2000 meters of the ocean, it remains true that we know more about the moon than the deep sea. The uniqueness, biodiversity and importance of a healthy ocean for our lives and the future of our planet are unknown to many and the new One Argo mission has set out to change this. During this exciting series of workshops in the past month, many stakeholders have already expressed their aspirations that BGC Argo will address critical societal needs in fields such as fisheries management, carbon budget verification, and environmental forecasting. Germany has made BGC Argo a priority for the implementation of the new multidisciplinary strategy and has started this year to deploy 15 full BGC floats, 
some carrying additional new sensors to contribute to sensor development. The deployments focus on two areas, the subpolar North Atlantic and closer to home here in Germany in the Baltic Sea. These deployments address important science questions, such as the understanding of the carbon budget in the ventilation area of the North Atlantic and nutrient budgets and eutrophication in the Baltic. A fully implemented BGC Argo will improve the development of national ocean policies and support improving coastal zone management and adaptation. The recent deployments in the Baltic Sea have already sparked great national interest and are particularly relevant for our obligations in the monitoring framework of HELCOM set up by the Baltic Marine Environment Protection Commission. At European level, we are working together with the Argo programs in Finland and Poland on the data management of the shelf sea. Let me close by congratulating the workshop participants in coming forward with very interesting suggestions how to transform knowledge to actions in fields such as fisheries management, carbon budget verification, and ecosystem forecasting. I'm looking forward to implementing the BGC Argo program together with all of you and with the support of FSOI to, be, to the benefit of science, the oceans, and mankind. Thank you very much for your attention.